I, c I came across something uh, quite recently, uh, which was why are common sense ideas not common? Yeah. And I, I, I'm springing that one on you to see yeah. how you'd react. So, any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, um, it's interesting, isn't it? I, I think um, we do both do a lot of work with executives, teaching execs, and um, one of the challenges I find is that you know if you pull them out of their day to day, if you pull them out of their normal day to day context and get them to look at a problem, they come at it in a very different way than if they're in a business, um, and they almost free themselves from. Um, one of the phrases I, I, I really don't like is a business decision. You know, it, it almost justifies the wrong decision by saying it's the wrong decision, but we're working in a business, so it's okay. Um, actually, I think a real challenge as an exec is how do you free yourself out of the situation you're in and start to think, okay, w what is the best way to approach this? Um, you know, and sometimes it's not fixing the current problem; it's actually saying, "Could could we rethink this?" You know. So a good example is, rather than improving how we serve our customers, could we get our customers to serve themselves? And then suddenly you've changed it, um, and that's really just a bit of common sense, you know. Um, so um, I think the reason why common sense isn't always common is that often we don't take time to understand the problem. So what we do is we just debate and discuss solutions. And that debate and discussion can almost become nonsensical if you don't really know what you're trying to do. So common sense almost becomes common once the problem is very clear. Um, so making time to understand the problem for me is probably at the cause of that and in business um, that's really trying to work out w why we're here what is it we're trying to do um, and, and really understanding who our customers are and, and what value you are adding and then once you've got that you can start to unpick it so the first thing I is the problem uh, the second thing is that often um, we make poor decisions which are nonsensical when we don't have all the information. So we might make a decision that is perfectly correct given the information we have, but that's only one piece of the jigsaw puzzle. So um, taking time to step back and look at the big picture and how it all works is often when the common sense appears, the, 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 um, the simple ideas emerge because you're looking at the whole system rather than just one bit in it. So, um, you know, I, I, I will always say to the execs that I teach, um, I've never met somebody who intentionally does a bad job. I've just met people who don't know what they're meant to be doing or they only know a bit of the problem and therefore they come up with a, a solution. So um, I think it's understanding the problem and then it's understanding the whole picture so you can pick the, the simple idea and, and you know and use common sense because most of us want to use common sense there's a reason why it doesn't happen yeah I think uh, that, that's uh, really important insights and I always think too about design as another example we started with something that's complex the way we get to simple is just hard work mm, mm. in the same way it's like the problem yeah. We think we know the problem, but actually knowing what the real problem is is just hard work till we get there. And once we know the problem, the solutions are pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. But you're quite right, we spend a lot of time on solutions uh, uh, without actually understanding what the problem is. And th in some ways that's the common sense bit yeah. that you're referring to. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's an interesting point, the, the, the pushing for simplicity. There's... Um, um, it's now moved the design museum that was in London, but in where it was based originally, um, there's a great quote on the wall which is just said, "Good design is about taking things away," and it is once you have that solution, it's stripping it back so it becomes simple. Um, you know, one of the the many myths and stories around Steve Jobs at Apple was that when they designed the iPod, 
um, engineers kept giving him different designs, different alternatives, and he just kept going one button. It can only have one button. It can only have one button, and he kept throwing it back. But I think as leaders, we need to push for that simplicity because um, it, it's often not there at the beginning. But once you get to it, then suddenly everything becomes very clear. I mean, it's the, the other Einstein quote, you know, is that if you can't explain something simply, you don't understand it. And it's that pushing for simplicity, I think, as you say, is a very important thing.